Gun Show. Hello. When it comes to affairs of the heart, do you believe in just uh, trusting to fate? We open our story tonight at the Brodeen Art Galleries on 57th Street in New York City. Would you like a catalog? The auction is tomorrow night. Marge? Marge? This says Van Gogh. It's signed Van Gogh. What does that mean? Is it a real Van Gogh? <laughs> of course, Mom. It's a real one. Why, oh, these things are treasures. Yeah, treasures. That they are. Your stocks might be up this morning, but that's no reason to fill the apartment with Van Gogh's. Oh, honey, that one's just on exhibition. Great heavens, this one says Picasso. Yeah. Well, you know, when some people visit an auction, it's like visiting a museum. Well, I mean, you don't go to the Metropolitan Museum to buy. You go to look and learn and enjoy. Hmm? Well, just what are you looking for? Something I like. Well, now, I like this one. Hmm. Kind of. Oh, I like that one. A lot. Marjorie, stop staring at that man. Marjorie! Why? There is one of God's better creations. I don't care for this conversation. <laughs> don't be shocked, Mama. I know him. That is, I, uh... I know about him. Sort of. Well, just what does that mean, sort of? Well, uh, he works at the City State Bank at Park of 53rd. He's the vice president. <laughs> For heaven's sake, why didn't you say so? I just well, did. Dear, I have things to do downtown. Uh, what are your plans? Well, I think I'll just stay on and admire the art. Marjorie, you're being excessively sassy this afternoon. Sorry. Well, anyway, thanks for lunch. Yeah. Don't bring home any strange paintings. No, I won't. <laughs> or men. Uh. I beg your pardon. Oh, it was my fault. I, I'm afraid I wasn't watching where I was going. Lovely, isn't it? Yes, but uh, I'm afraid I prefer the modern school. Oh, I understand the modern. Madam, may I help you? Uh, this gentleman was here first. Yes, I know. Now, was there anything in particular you were interested in? No. She is no. interested in art, as we all are. She is, however, uh, prefers the French school. If you'll be kind enough to tell us where they're hanging, we won't detain you. Here, yeah, yes, of course, Mr. Tyler, in the far room. Madam? You're a nice gentleman. Oh, I know you like a rinse your and I'm just a romanticist. Haven't got a penny, but I do know what I like. Now run along and enjoy yourself, young man. I'm just fine. And take ever so. So. find anything in particular you think you might be interested in, Mr. Tyler? Yes, the trio's winter in Paris here on this wall. Oh, yes, magnificent. Really one of the best paintings in the collection. Now, let me see. Now, that'll be up for bid tomorrow night. Uh, do you think about 8 o'clock? Would that be convenient? I shall be here shortly after. Well, fine, and I won't start the bidding until you're here. Now, next we have a Maurice Du Trio. This is unquestionably an outstanding example of this artist's work. This painting is from an earlier period and is regarded by many as one of his finest. So I'm unable to accept an opening bid of under 1,500. Now, may I have the opening bid, please? 1,500. Thank you, sir. 1,500. Do I hear any advance on 1,500? 1,550. 1,550. Thank you, sir. Any advance on 1,550? 1,600. 1,600. Thank you, sir. Any advance on 1,600? 1,800. 1,800. Thank you, sir. Any advance on 1,800? 2,000. 2,000. Thank you, madam. Any advance on 2,000? 2,500. 2,500. Thank you, sir. Any advance on 2,500? 3,000. 3,000. Thank you, madam. Any advance on 3,000? 5,000. 5,000. Thank you, sir. Any advance on 5,000? 7,000. 7,000. Thank you, madam
in advance on 7,000. 10,000. 10,000. Thank you, sir. Any advance on 10,000? 10, 10, 1. Then twice. So, for 10,000. So, Mr. Wayne, I Tyler. Congratulations, Mr. Tyler. Now, next, ladies and gentlemen, we have a painting by the artist Calafino. Now, may I hear an opening bid? 500. Advance on 500. Mr. Tyler. We'll have it in your office first thing in the morning. I'm so pleased you got it. Ah, uh, 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 the favoritism. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Oh, of course you didn't. And congratulations, Mr. Tyler. Now, you're a lucky man to own such a painting. Well, I would consider myself lucky indeed if the painting were mine. I was bidding for the City State Bank. Oh. So you haven't lost it. You can see it any time. It'll hang in our Park Avenue branch at 53rd. <laughs> well, I do feel better. I haven't lost a painting. You've gained a customer. Well, uh, allow me to formally introduce myself. Wainwright Tyler. How do you do? I'm Marge Randall. And uh, when is the unveiling? Well, it should be up tomorrow afternoon. It'll hang in the entrance. Good. I'll be there. And in fact, I, uh, I have a bottle of champagne very special. I bought it to toast that utrillo on my wall, but since I'm the loser, I'd like to bring the champagne and toast it on yours. Very sporting. Around five o'clock? Five would be fine. Good. Uh, will they let me in? I'll arrange it. Well, thank you. And, uh, good night. Good to Miss Randall? Uh, no, it's Mrs. Uh, but my husband is dead, and I find if I go around calling myself Mrs., it just complicates relations unnecessarily. Yes, I, uh, can see where it might. <laughs> well, see you tomorrow? Good night. Good night. Or you trio. To the city uh, state banks, you trio. Mm -hmm. Visit us often. Thank you. You know, you have a very, very nice office here. Oh, you like? Mm, it's an exquisite taste. I bet you decorated it yourself. Hmm? Oh, some. Mm -hmm. Now tell me about you. Well, <laughs> I pick up attractive men at auctions. Well, that part I know. <laughs> well, there's really very little else to know. Well, I'm a New Yorker, and I share a very pleasant apartment with my mother. And uh, I like the city and the country, and I like to... I like the theater, and galleries, of course. You know, we're very much alike. I thought we might be. Do you have plans for dinner? Why not? Well, uh, why don't I make reservations at the uh, Four Seasons? Well, why don't you? Miss Kelly, reservations for two at the Four Seasons, please. A uh, rack of lamb with juniper berries. Oh, hmm? sounds good. Uh, yes, but it takes an awful long time to prepare. Forty-five minutes. Oh, come on. Put your stopwatch away. I mean, it's nice and warm in here. Martinis are excellent. We both have our life stories to tell. Sure there's anything that takes a little longer? Nope. I looked. <laughs> oh, there's roast suckling pig. But that takes a week. Fine. Roast pig it is. And you're on with your life story. Hello? Oh, yes, Edgar. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. This is a very bad week for me. Mm-hmm. Yes, would you? <laughs> yes, I certainly hope so. Bye. What are you up to? You're not sick or anything. Oh, I feel fine. And why have you been turning down every invitation for the past week and a half? You know, when Mr. Tyler calls, I intend to be free. This isn't like you, Marge. Be realistic. You met the man once and he hasn't called back. Well, you know how New York is. My goodness, he's a widower. An extra man. Huh. His social engagements are probably booked up weeks in advance. And he probably hasn't had a moment. That's what I keep telling myself. Still, you could have called. Mom, 
Would you mind if tomorrow I transferred our account to another bank? Hmm? Hmm? Excuse me, Mr. Tyler. There's a Marge Randall here to see you. Oh, fine. Show her in. Won't you come in? You're busy. Stay so simply. I've been thinking about you all week. Oh, your uh, telephones aren't connected? Oh, well, this is our 50th year in banking, and I'm afraid we overscheduled our celebrating. Oh, I see. Oh. You see, I'm the vice president that has to make all the speeches, eat the canned peas, and clean chicken. <laughs> well, I don't want to add to the confusion. I just want to report that I am, as of five minutes ago, a member of the trusted city-state banking family. So don't get reckless with my money. Hmm? Well, your money's as safe here with us as it would be in your own mattress, madam. Mm. That is no recommendation, sir. I smoke in bed. Bad habit. Yes, I know it is. Well, I don't want to keep you, so goodbye. Well, as uh, long as we don't give away dishes or stamps of any color, uh, why don't I take you to lunch? Steaks? Chard rare? Well, this is a friendly bank. Yes, we try to be. Uh-huh. You know something else? I don't care if you pay interest or not. Phone's ringing. Uh, yes, I'm getting it. Hello? Oh, hello, Wayne. Ah, well, thank heaven. I've been looking all over for it. Oh, thank you. And thanks again for lunch. It was absolutely delicious. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to eat again. <laughs> oh, well, uh, I'll drop by for it in a day or two, all right? Or uh, perhaps you could drop it by here on your way home if it isn't inconvenient for you. Good. Uh, by the way, I'm renowned for my martinis. Mm. I bought a bottle of vermouth in 1952, and it's still with me. <laughs> uh, 6.30, hmm? Yes, up here. Bye. Mom? A surprise. I'm going to treat you to the six o'clock movie at the Translux. Did you say you wished you knew more about good music? Yes. Well, you know, we could set up an exchange course, you and I. Mm -hmm. Music was my major in college. Now, you could talk to me about paintings, and I could dig out my notebooks from Stevens. <laughs> well, how's the martini? Well, it's fantastic. How about that vermouth? Did you ever open it? Is that a complaint? Never. <laughs> to you. And to the strange tricks of fate that you're putting us together. To fate and her handmaidens. Oh, I'm sorry. You... I've really got to go. I oh. have previous plans for the evening. Oh. I wish we could have made a night of it. Yes. Well, perhaps we will some other day, hmm? Oh. Hmm? I just forgot why I came. Oh, for heaven's sake. Before you go, I'll start you on your homework. I'm going to trust you with my very best book on music appreciation. Oh. It's out of print, otherwise I'd get you a copy of your own. Well, I'll be very careful. Thank you. And when I return it next week, we'll have a leisurely dinner. Ooh. And I'll impress you with my newfound musical knowledge. Good. Then I shall cook that dinner. So I can do a little impressing of my own. You like duck? Love it. You know I hate to go. Well, you know I hate to see you go. Oh, say la vie. Say la guerre. <laughs> Good night. You're sure this isn't big eye? Mm -mm -mm. It's duck and it's not frozen and I cooked it. You're fantastic. Now listen, the only flattery I want from you, sir, is that you clean up your plate. Hmm? 235 twice. So, to Mrs. Donald Sims for $235. You wanted it so. I'm sorry. Oh, don't be. When I'm bidding with the bank's money, that's one thing. Uh -huh. With my money, I often lose the bid. Thank you, Wayne. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the most beautiful evening. It was, wasn't it? Yes, it was. You know, I always find 
something very exciting about the opening night of the opera. How about you? Well, I never really cared for the opera. Oh? Until tonight. I wonder why. Do you want an answer? I know the answer. Brandy? Mm hmm? You know, Marge, it's very gratifying to go anywhere with you. I mean, like walking in the zoo, window shopping, the opera. You make everything seem so very special. Thank you. I'm more conscious of things when I'm with you. Everything means so very much more. I want to thank you for that. I want to thank you for letting me share them with you. Well, that's what I mean. I think we enjoy being together because, uh, well, we understand each other. We like the same things. Yes, I think so. Don't you think we could go on? I mean, just on and on, enjoying things? Yes, mm -hmm. I think so. I think how we almost missed each other. Mm -hmm. Fate had to keep throwing us together. Marge, will you marry me? Wayne. Wayne. Uh, do you remember the first night you came here? When you brought my cigarette case back? Yes. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned fate then, too. Do you remember? You toasted the tricks of fate. Oh, uh, vaguely, yes. Well, I started to correct you at the time, but I, uh, I thought better of it. But now we... We know each other now, and we're, we're quite serious. And well, I... Emma, please let me finish. Now that I've started... I want to get the matter straightened out. Fate had nothing to do with it. Very little to do with it. It would have been considerably more apropos of you had you toasted the tricks of Marge. You're confusing me. Perhaps I'm a fool to tell you the truth. But I believe in the truth, eventually. And I believe in giving fate a hand. Tell by your face that truth could have waited a while longer. No, no, please go on. I will if you'll stop looking like a scared rabbit. Look, the door isn't locked and you're very near it. I'm sorry. You were saying? Well, to plunge in, I, uh, I bid on that picture at the auction simply so you would notice me. So that after the bidding was over, I could congratulate you so that I could meet you. Why? Well, about two and a half months ago, you had a flat tire. Yeah, in Gramercy Place. Yes, that's right. And uh, you fixed it in no time at all, uh, whistling all the time. And while you were working, a little boy came along with a dog. And, well, you petted the dog and you took time out to answer the child's steady stream of questions. How'd you know? Well, I was there. I was waiting for a cab. And it was right then that some advice my mother gave me years ago came rushing back into my mind. Marge, she said, if you ever find a man who is good to children and can treat animals well and can change a tire without losing his temper, don't let him go. So I didn't. But we first met at the gallery. Now, please, don't get me off the track. One of the many questions that the little boy asked you was where you worked. And being a gentleman, you told him. So I dropped into the bank and I learned your name and I uh, overheard a conversation that you happened to be having. And through that, I learned that you were going to go to that auction. I see. I'm sure that you don't. But I'm going to go on anyway. 
We met. It was brief and it was impersonal, but I... Well, I felt sort of a rapport and... And also, I liked very much the way you played Sir Galahad to that little lady who dropped her bag, do you remember, at the auction? So I arranged a second meeting by dreaming up a rare bottle of champagne with which to toast your painting. And uh, you invited me to dinner, which I hoped you would. Then you didn't call me again. So I arranged some business at your bank. You uh, left your cigarette case on purpose. I did. So to be sure I'd see you again. And that night I lent you a book, which uh, ensured another meeting. And you're shocked, aren't you? Well, I, uh, I don't know if that's the word, but uh, I'm something. Yes. Well, in my own defense, I'm not exactly what they call a dog. And uh, since I have painted such a black picture of myself, allow me briefly to toot my own horn. Wayne, I, I've had many opportunities to remarry. But I have an eye out for the right man. You see, to a woman, finding the right husband is the most important job of her life. Marriage is her career. It's her whole existence. So why in heaven's name, if she finds a man that she thinks she can be happy with and whom she thinks she can make happy, why is it so shocking that she doesn't just sit back and trust to fate? The role of the aggressor belongs to the male. Now, honestly, have you, before a few minutes ago, ever felt that I was an aggressive female? No. Certainly no shy violet, but uh, aggressive? No. No, oh, I am no shy violet. My violet days are long since over. So are yours. We are, and I believe I can say this in the truest sense of the word, Mature adults who know more or less what they want out of life. I want a good marriage. <laughs> to a man, especially a man with as many diversified interests as surely you must have, perhaps marriage could be a thing apart, but, but to a woman it isn't. It's her whole life. She must do something about it. So I did. Do you want to run my bank for me? No! Do you want to run me? Good heavens, no. Well, I went to all this trouble because I thought at last I'd found a man who would take over. Once I gave him the idea. No. No what? No. You're definitely not what they'd call a dog. Now, here's Miss Young. Thank you, John. In love, one must not attack a fort unless one storms it. Uh, good night. And we'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.